hey besties welcome to my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much you rock if you are new please join us we're just besties having fun and cooking easy meals so today we're going to be cooking nigerian chicken stew it's a staple you know in nigerian homes every sunday <laughs> rice and stew jello fries all the like so let's get to it to your heated pot you're going to be putting some granite oil you fry your onions for two to three minutes until it's translucent and then you'll be adding in your tomato puree you're going to allow that to fry for 10 minutes you want it to like fry properly so it doesn't have that slapping taste or that sad note when it has fried you're going to go in with your tomatoes pepper rudo and onions um, that you have um, blended and you're just going to put it in and give it a quick stir and allow to fry the goal is to fry for like um 20 minutes 20 to 25 when it's properly fried you see the oil floats to the top like this give it a quick stir and then you go in with your meat stock and meat stock looks the way <laughs> it looks like solid like this because it was um refrigerated yeah so you just go in with your meat stock this will loosen up you know your stew and allow it to cook properly yeah so it's allowed to cook properly and when i put that in i'm going to allow it to simmer for 30 to 35 minutes or 40 minutes the goal to really nice you that's me just reducing my burner it's just to slowly simmer over low heat and this is it after 30 minutes you can see how yummy and thick our stew is looking I'm just going to be adding my seasoning into it for today i used the um, no cubes so i used them um, two packs of no cubes so that's four cubes yeah when i put that in i'm going to give it a nice ton again i like to turn them back <laughs> that just happens when you're cooking i'm going to be putting in some thyme love thyme it's putting in some garlic powder you know me i love garlic powder it's amazing also going to be going in with some curry powder and finally i'm going to be adding paprika the reason for this is the red color and it also gives your stew that smoky flavor it is amazing you guys need to try this and tell me and then going in with a little salt giving it a very very thorough mix and then i'm going to be tasting it it tastes so good guys my kitchen smells so yummy <laughs> i wish you were here i'm just going to be going in with uh, my chicken i used chicken for this and um some beef i had left over from when i cooked the afang soup so i'm just going to be going in to put it into my stew i want this to simmer a bit with um, the stew that is already spiced so that the stew flavor can further get into my meat and you know salty the bits guys look at this you know look at how lush <laughs> look at how nice it is the goal to see like if your stew is cooked or you know it's when the oil floats to the top when it floats to the top like it just shows you that water has evaporated from it and it has settled down properly so normally since it's solid the oil will just float to the top guys this is amazing you can have this with rice with pasta with yam with not just yam have you tried stew with bread i'm telling you guys the combo that combo is lit if you notice now i will not be putting the lid on my pot anymore because i want as much water to dry up for you know the stew we are cooking so it's just on very low heat and i'll just allow this to simmer for like 10 more minutes and our stew is ready guys i need you guys to try out this recipe it's bangs <laughs> so this is final product after 10 minutes i just close it for the effect so open it up and see how to see how it looks when it is finally cooked so yeah my final stir and guys this soup was amazing call it a designer stew so this is a picture here of it being cooked please guys i really love you guys to like follow subscribe just engage the page any question you have or anything you would like us to be cooking up thank you so much and bye